everybody! Today the bookworms are going to be reading Toy Story 4, A New Purpose, from the book 5-Minute Disney Pixar Stories. Lightning flashed across the sky as Andy ran into his room with an armful of toys, but he had accidentally left R.C. outside. When Andy went downstairs, Woody headed to Andy's sister's room to search for the lost toy. Once there, Bo and Woody came up with a plan. Slinky Dog stretched his springy body out the window as Woody scrambled down his back to rescue R.C. Moments later, though Andy's mom came to get Bo and her sheep, Andy's sister Molly was giving them away. Woody snuck over to Bo as she stood in the cardboard box. He wanted to help her escape and take her back to Andy's room, but Bo was ready to go. Years passed and eventually a much older Andy gave his toys to a little girl named Bonnie. She loved them as much as Andy had, but things were different for Woody. He wasn't the favorite toy anymore. When Bonnie was ready for her first day of kindergarten, Woody decided to go with her, just in case she needed him. When she got upset at craft time, he came to her rescue and brought her more art supplies. Bonnie used her imagination to put them together to make a new friend, Forky. She even wrote her name on the bottom of his foot, just as she had with Woody. To Woody's surprise, Forky came to life, just like the other toys. Back in Bonnie's room, Woody introduced Forky to Bonnie's other toys. Bonnie made a new friend in class, he told them. She literally made a new friend. Everyone, I want you to meet Forky. But wide-eyed Forky was not interested in being a toy. I know this is a little strange, Woody said, but Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now. The next morning, Bonnie and her family were going on a road trip. She loaded up the RV with her toys, including her new favorite, Forky. One evening, Buzz Lightyear broke the news to Woody that Forky was climbing out of the moving RV. The plastic utensil jumped out of the window. Woody knew he had to follow him. He couldn't leave a toy behind. Woody found Forky and they walked to the next town to reunite with the RV. But something caught Woody's eye in the window of an antique store. Bo's lamp! Woody and Forky entered the store, but instead of Bo, they found a doll named Gabby Gabby. Woody introduced himself and Forky, but Gabby Gabby wasn't all that interested in Forky. Instead, she pointed at the voice box soon into Woody's chest. You have what I need, right inside there, she said. Woody quickly escaped to the playground. But without Forky, before he could come up with a plan, a busload of campers overran the playground in the middle of the mayhem. Woody spotted Bo Beep and her sheep. She was part of a group of toys that traveled around to find kids to play with. The two friends couldn't have been happier to see each other. Bo even agreed to help rescue Forky. Meanwhile, Buzz Lightyear had decided to search for Woody and Forky. The brave space ranger followed their trail through a carnival but he was captured and placed on a prize wall. He met some new toys, Ducky and Bunny, who helped him escape. Buzz found Woody and Bo, and the whole group snuck into the store to rescue Forky. Bo pointed to a glass cabinet across the way. That's most likely where your Forky is being kept. Getting to it meant crossing a wide aisle that was patrolled by Dragon, the shop's tough-looking cat. Woody knew he had to get Forky fast. He ran across the aisle and climbed up to the cabinet, but it was locked. Gabby Gabby's dummy surrounded the toys and captured Bo's sheep too. The toys escaped, but now Gabby Gabby had Forky and the sheep. Bo needed to come up with a new plan. She took Woody to meet Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. Bo thought Duke could jump across the aisle to the cabinet and rescue Forky and her sheep, but Duke wanted no part of it. You remember how he disappointed his kid when he failed to make a big jump. That was long before, and Duke hadn't jumped since. Be the Duke you are right now, Bo encouraged. The one who jumps and crashes. But Duke didn't make it. He crashed right into Dragon. Woody urged everyone to try again to help him rescue Forky, but the toys were banged up and hurt. Bo was upset that Woody was being so single-minded, so she led her lost toys back to the carnival. 
Woody went back into the store alone to find Forky, but instead came face to face with Gabby Gabby. Woody listened as she explained how her voice box had never worked properly and she'd never been any kid's favorite toy. He understood how she felt, so he gave Gabby Gabby his voice box and got Forky back in return. Woody's voice box was a perfect match for Gabby's Gabby's record. Now it was time to find a kid for her to love, but Gabby Gabby wasn't sure any kid would love her. Right now, Woody said, "I'm an old rag doll that has been lost, chewed on, burned, ripped apart." Thrown away, forgotten. Who understands just one thing? I was made to help a child, any child. Woody encouraged her to be who she really was, while Bo helped to find the perfect little girl for her. She found someone who was lost and needed a friend. It was a perfect match. Woody and the old other toys made their way back to Bonnie's RV. Everyone was happy to see Woody, and he was even happier to see Bonnie reunited with Forky. He had done the job he'd set out to do. It was then he realized that there were kids and toys everywhere who would always need his help. Woody knew that wherever he went and whichever toy he helped next, he'd always have his friends by his side. They were partners now to infinity and beyond. The end. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time. Bye.